Welcome to this video. It's incredibly late, but we just could not resist coming into the studio and recording this video. So shout out to Cormac, the producer, for coming in at 8 p.m. so that we can make this video for you guys. Now, I've been playing around with Vercel or V0 as it's kind of known. This is what it looks like. It's very, very similar to Bolt New, but something that's just so much better is this exact flow that I'm gonna show you in this video. So we're actually gonna be using perplexity, okay? So the reason we're using perplexity is because all of these LLMs that power things like bolt.new and v0.dev, they're all out of date. They all have old, old knowledge about LLMs and how to program them. So what does that mean? It means that ChatGPT, if you just say, make me a Python script that calls the OpenAI API, it will do some absolute trash. Like, let's just show you this. Uh, as an example. So let's say write me a Python script that calls the the open AI API. Let's see. So here's a basic script, pip install open AI, that's correct. Okay, this is completely wrong. DaVinci doesn't even exist anymore. Um, th that's not how you do um, an open AI API call anymore. This would not work on uh, on Python. It just doesn't work, okay? which is incredibly frustrating when you're trying to code something like an SEO tool, a keyword tool, a content gen generator, etc. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how you can make your own content generator in kind of under 10 minutes. Now, I don't think we're gonna be going in and launching the project, but I can tell you right now, it's not that difficult from this screen here to launch a project on the cell. So you can get all of these prompts in uh, this uh, Google document here. The first prompt is, give me a breakdown of the latest documentation from OpenAI to use ChatGPT and DALI 3. I mainly need actual code snippets in Node.js showing how to build an example multi-prompt flow where each response is fed to the next response, etc. So we'll hit enter here. What this is going to do is we're using Perplexity Pro. I would highly recommend using Perplexity Pro. That was not Perplexity Pro. Let's just do that again with Perplexity Pro on. So this is Perplexity Pro here. I believe you get a couple of um, pros a day for free. I'm not 100% sure about that, but to be honest with you, Perplexity, the front end is very, very impressive and is very, very good at finding this kind of information. So let's have a look here. NPM install OpenAI, correct. Const OpenAI equals new OpenAI API key. Yeah, this is correct. This is correct. All of it's correct, basically, okay? So now we have DALI 3 code and we have um, GPT code, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go down and press copy, and then we'll go back to this prompt thing here, and we'll get rid of, this is the documentation piece here, so we'll just paste this in. We'll get rid of the citations, we don't need them. And then this is the actual prompt that we're gonna be giving to uh, V0. What this is going to do is it's actually going to create a content generator where you can add internal links. Now, I'm not saying the content's going to be amazing. Of course, you'd have to be much more refined from th than this. But what's really cool is, and by the way, we will be deleting this API key at the end of this video, so don't even bother pausing it and trying to you know, write it and blah, blah, blah. It'll be gone. What we can actually do is we can test the system within Vercel. So this is really, really cool. This is something brand new that I've never been able to do before. So I'm just gonna add something here. I'm gonna say, I want you to add a few images per article. And then we'll just send this here. Okay, so I'll create a content generation system based on blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna stop this here. I wanna say, please embed this in its own um, environment. So there's kind of two versions of V0. There's the chat version where it just chats, and then there's this version, which is not the version I want to use at all. But we'll just leave this and see whether it actually embeds it properly. No, it's still not embedding it. So what we'll do is we'll start a new chat here. This does happen sometimes. And at the very top, we'll say, create this entire system in its own environment, embedded already for testing, okay? 
So hopefully this time it will kind of get what I wanted to do. And it should do a V0 style thing where it, oh, there we go, perfect. So it opens on the right here. That means it's working properly. This is what we want it to do because we can actually preview on the left here once it's finished um, creating whatever it is. So we've, we, we really haven't spent a lot of time on this yet, but we're almost finished already, which is completely crazy. So we'll see the preview here. Look at that. Amazing. So we'll say black tie attire for, for men, and we'll say HTTPS to men.it, collections kit on, and then we'll press generate content. So this isn't something that previously I wasn't able to do with bolt.new because I, I actually don't know why. It never worked. It still doesn't work. Okay, it's, uh, the, I don't know what the problem is, but for some reason it just doesn't work. Whereas uh, V0 does. Now I think the thing that the, the difference here is this, dangerously allow browser. Now this does say it's not recommended for production use. So we're kind of just making our own tools to use for ourselves, okay? Now, if you wanted to make a SaaS of this, it would be more complicated. You would need a database and you would need other things as well. However, I did see earlier V0 Superbase. It apparently, I haven't verified this myself yet, but apparently you can connect V0 to Superbase. If you don't know what Superbase is, it's a, um, a database uh, language, okay? It's the most popular one right now. So really, really interesting. You could definitely turn this into a SaaS. You could add Stripe, you could add Superbase, and you could sell you know, an SEO content generator. But just for the purposes of this video, because it's quite late and we're all tired, we're just gonna be making something that we could then download and then use locally as our own content generator. Now this is a one page thing. There's literally, there's nothing else here. Now you would probably, want to separate things into different components, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're just kind of experimenting and just want to make a keyword tool or a content generator or, you know, whatever it might be, then this is your best bet. So we actually have content here, as you can see here, and we should have an image somewhere. There it is. Beautiful. So let's just copy this. Now I would probably add a button that says like copy all or something just to make things easier. And it also hasn't really formatted this properly, so it might not, yeah, it's uh, just gonna be annoying, isn't it? Okay, beautiful. So I just, I would say to this now, uh, this content isn't, um, what's it called, formatted properly. Please make it format properly with spacing and new lines, as well as give me a copy all button. Um, Fine, sure, but the really cool thing is it has actually generated images, okay? Now this is something that I personally don't, I'm not a massive fan of this, but just the fact that you can do something like this so easily is pretty crazy. Like I, I'm not a big fan of these images, you know, the text is made up, et cetera, et cetera. But just as a base and as a starting point, I do really, really like that you can just make a content generator in literally five minutes, okay? Just for context, the same thing on Harbor. I know Harbor's a lot more complicated, but it took me bloody six months to get to this point that I'm showing you that you can do in five minutes. Okay, so we'll do black tie attire for men. Same again. And then generate content. Now, obviously, you can really, really make this as complicated as you want or as simple as you want doesn't have to be an SEO content generator. It could be a keyword tool. Like I said before, there, there are millions of different options that you can actually do with V0. Now I am paying for V0, so you know it's paid. You, you can use it for free. Up here is fork as well and add to code base. So this is kind of how, I'm not gonna do this in this particular video. I will, if people like this video, I will make more. But you can add to code base to the top here, which means you can very easily add it to GitHub. Once it's on GitHub, you can very easily add it to Vercel or Netlify or wherever the hell you want to add it. But the cool thing is I've seen a lot of videos that's like, oh, make your own SEO tool using Claude, right? If I go on Claude and say, make me, I'll just give it the same prompt, right? It will not work. It'll give me a script, but it won't work. It won't let me actually um, do anything, okay? I don't think. Now I'm worried that it's actually gonna 
work. <laughs> the point of this video was not to show Claude off, but is this going to work? Surely not. No, it won't work. It won't work. I'm so confident it's not going to work. Don't do this to me, Claude. <laughs> yeah, example usage, yeah, it's just... It, it, like, it gives you a script that you could run locally and maybe it would work, but it's not the same thing at all. We'll go back to my original one. I mean, it's not perfect because it still is mis... Oh, no, it, it formatted everything perfectly. So when you press the copy button, it does actually work and it does format things. So now we have this already after five minutes. We have something that is capable of producing this level of content. Now, obviously, we would have to probably use a different system for infographics. Um, and it doesn't look like it's actually... Oh, it has. It has put the internal link, which is here. Nice. So, yeah, I mean, technically speaking, this is a pretty damn good content generator that we've just made in five minutes. Now, you could very easily do something like, okay, now have CSV input and CSV output so I can generate thousands of articles from a list of keywords. For example, right? And this will now do exactly that. So I'm just showing you how you can easily make something for yourself without paying one of these companies that charges for this kind of thing. Now, I know that Harbor kind of is charging for this kind of thing, but I feel like Harbor is a different, it's a different concept. We're not trying to make low quality content. We're trying to make very, very high quality content. So if I just go to GPT-0, just out of curiosity, I personally, like I always say, don't really care about this, but it's just interesting to see for sure. So new scan, there we go. And then we'll scan this. This will be 100% AI, I'm sure of it. 87% AI, I mean, not terrible, to be honest with you. Like, um, it could be worse. It could definitely, definitely be worse. So, and one more little test here. I just want to see how many words this is as well. These are all things that people care about. So we'll just see here, tools, word count. 700 words. So, I mean, it's not bad at all. Okay, so yeah, now we have keywords, internal links. You can very easily make a spreadsheet for yourselves and then just generate a crap ton of content. Another option would be to have a keyword input, CSV, um, an internal link input, CSV, that could just be a, a list, and then a uh, images, CSV, that you just upload. And then what you've got is a content generator that is capable of doing something similar to Harbor, not quite at the same level, because we scan, we scrape your entire website, we scrape every page uh, that's relevant, whereas this would just be doing more of a kind of, oh, let's just whack this picture here and whack this picture here. But, I mean, it's not bad for 10 minutes work, that you can now, um, yeah, like I said, add to code base, which means you can get it on GitHub. You might be able to download this, can you download this? No, it doesn't look like it. But I mean, you don't really need to download it because it's just one line of, one page of code. So you could literally just take this, put it on Visual Studio Code, run it locally. You now have your own content generator. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there just because it's, it's late and we're tired. But thank you so much for watching, guys. This is getting really exciting now what you can do with this uh, kind of technology. You can make your own content generator in literally 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to learn how to make AI-generated websites that can make you money without WordPress.